1 Corinthians 1, 21 through 25. For since in the wisdom of God, the world through its wisdom did not know him, God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believe. Jews demand miraculous signs and Greeks look for wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than man's wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than man's strength. Amen. You see, many Jews of the day considered the good news of Jesus Christ to be foolishness because they thought the Messiah would be a conquering king accompanied by signs and miracles. Greeks, too, considered the gospel foolish. They did not believe in a bodily resurrection. They didn't see Jesus in the powerful characteristics of their false mythological gods. So today as well, beloved, people see Christ as foolishness. Our good news sounds like foolishness to many. Our society worships power, influence, and wealth. Jesus came as a humble, poor servant, and he offers his kingdom to those who have faith not to those who do all kinds of good deeds to try to earn his gifts. This looks foolish to the world, but Christ is our power. The only way we can be saved knowing Christ personally is the greatest wisdom anyone could have. Amen. As always, God bless you and keep the faith.